Well, I had a school friend, and she um, invited me to Central Baptist, and uh, she went, and her grandmother would go on the Sunday school bus, so away we went, and uh, the first day I went to Central, I never looked back. Mm. There was just something different about that church. Um, Pastor Sutton was there at the time, and he he was such a loving pastor. Mm -hmm. I loved to watch him come out at night and, and go through the pews one by one and shake hands with people and the smiles that would come on people's faces. Even as a young kid, I knew that was special. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Mrs. Schell, um, this was, she was 80 year old German woman and uh, she really wanted to talk to me about God. But I didn't understand a word she had to say. So she said, you know, we can go on the Sunday school bus, the bus will bring us back. And, um, but she would open up her big black Bible to me and explain whatever. I had no idea what she was saying. And so she was smart enough to know that she needed to do something else to get through to me. So she took me, uh, she, no, she didn't take me. She made arrangements for her granddaughter and I to go and visit a 16-year-old girl by the name of Donna Blackwell. And that night, Donna Blackwell showed me from God's Word, using one verse, how I could enter the family of God. She used John 3.16. And uh, I prayed the prayer, and I left her house skipping. I was always skipping in those days. Can't do it today. And I said to myself, I wonder if this works. And this is 58 years, and mm -hmm. it's still working. Yeah. I'm in God's family. Mm -hmm. So that was a 16-year-old girl? The 16-year-old girl was Donna Blackwell, and uh, she, uh, like, imagine, yeah, at 16, mm -hmm. to be able to take a 12-year-old girl in mm -hmm. and uh, explain the way of salvation. She knew God's word. Um, I think... The big thing is the uh, Sunday school teachers. Mm. Um, I can think of Mrs. Foster. She's the grandmother. She was the grandmother of Catherine Doolittle. Mm -hmm. And uh, she would have the whole class into her home for little parties. I can remember one in particular was a March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day party. And then there was Mrs. Bowman. Most people would remember her. She was the violinist of the church and mm -hmm. she had Mr. Byron, of course, and um, but she was my Sunday school teacher, and she too, she lived in an apartment, but she would have a couple of girls at a time go and visit her. That meant a lot to us. Mm -hmm. And then when I was a teenager at Central, there was Miss Annabelle Cornwall. She was very special in my life. God really used her because she was an encourager. Mm -hmm. She lived with her mom and. Uh, she would take the class down to her house for firesides on Sunday night, and we really enjoyed that. And, um, but I can remember one day at the library on Queen's Ave, and I was having some trouble with some of the girls, as teenagers will do, and uh, she spoke just a few words of encouragement to me that made all the difference. I really think I was discouraged enough that maybe I would have, you know, looked somewhere else, but after her words, I stayed and stuck it out. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say anything today without uh, paying tribute to Vella Matthews. Mm -hmm. She was like a mother to me, a mm -hmm. spiritual mother. She really made a great impact on my life. Mm -hmm. And whatever Vella did, Lorna did. And I would have people say, you're the little Vella Matthews around here. <laughs> and uh, I it wasn't always said as a compliment, but I took it as a compliment.